So if you remember, recently I made a video on uh, the new features in Jira core business type of project. And those new features were uh, list, forms, timeline and uh, and calendar. And and I did talk about those features. I made, I, I made of course, a video. Uh, but I didn't really realize that uh, those new features are now part of uh, Jira work management or basically I should say uh, Jira business or Jira core type of projects are now known as uh, Jira work management. Now I was of course looking at this uh, this uh, page on the Atlassian website. So if you look at the products, now you don't really have anything like Jira core or Jira business. You have uh, uh, Jira software, which we all know, you have uh, Jira line, which is a separate tool altogether. Then you have Jira work management followed by uh, Jira service management, ops trainee, status edge, and so on. So I was uh, basically uh, uh, looking at Jira service management page. And uh, if you look at the the main, uh, or not Jira service management, I, I wanted to click on Jira work management, sorry. They are now, the name is quite similar. So I'm not really sure if the logo is changed. I think the logo is, a, is slightly different, but uh, anyways, so this is basically what you have, uh, which is now known as Jira work management. So there is nothing like Jira core or Jira business. And as I mentioned in uh, my blog, I, I recently make, made a, um, I wrote a blog where I talked about the keynote. Um, and I was writing in that particular blog that I'm not super enthusiastic about the um, about each and every announcement from Atlassian because there are so many things right now. It can be overwhelming. So I only focus on things that really matters to me personally for my work. And uh, I, I keep an eye on those new features. So this Jira work management, I was already aware of it because I made a video on this. And uh, I made a video because I I noticed this, uh, this these new features. So uh, if you go to your Jira core project, you have the you know these options like list. The main the main idea idea behind uh, list is that you have this option here to uh, take a look at all the issues in your Jira instance, and you can uh, you, you can actually you can actually edit them on fly. So these columns that you see here, like if you if you add a new activity task, uh, it will be of course added on the um, on the project, but you can actually modify things from within this uh, within this. Uh, interface from this uh, uh, view. Let me get rid of this uh, Jira quick start thing on the right hand side. So basically, if you want, you can modify the summary, or maybe you can change the status if you have, I believe, some valid statuses. You can also assign the issue to someone if you want to from this view. And uh, you can change the due date. So, so you can actually, you, you can actually do things <laughs> that will help you in getting the work done without going to the issue. Then of course you have the board where uh, you have the board where you can uh, take a look at different uh, columns and these columns are nothing but your statuses. Uh, you don't really have any way to configure it, I guess, but uh, uh, it is basically a simple board. Again, the, the calendar view is, is, is quite interesting. I, I like calendar view because uh, when you have a specific activity that needs to be done on a specific day, then uh, you can uh, plan the work, uh, like all the due dates, all the issues with due date will uh, will be displayed here. And if you click on any any date here, you have the option to create a new activity with that due date already filled in. So this is this is basically a thing that will help you in uh, in uh, quickly managing the work, quickly planning the work, and of course you have the timeline, which is again a new feature. So these are all part of the. Jira work management, which I thought uh, are now because I, I if you if you watch my video, I I have introduced these new features in Jira core business projects, which is true. But at the same time, I should also mention now, which I'm doing in this video, that Jira core or Jira business is now known as Jira work management, and uh, this is something that you can do in the timeline, I believe uh, you need to have a start date field, which I showed you in the previous uh, video. So if you have a start date, you can actually plan the work starting from that day and ending on a specific day, which I believe in this case is the due date. But uh, it, is a it is a nice view. You can actually uh, uh, add items on the fly if you want. And uh, 
I, I quite like uh, things on a timeline or a calendar because I, 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 when I when I look at the calendar, I can visualize things happening in the month of June and May. I, I prefer this, and I think uh, most human beings prefer this this uh, visual way of uh, planning the work on a timeline. So it is all about helping them visualize the work. And of course, we have forms. Forms, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, is is a way to is a way to uh, create a form with different fields. And when you take a look at uh, this form, of course, you have some description and maybe attachment. You can have maybe one more uh, field like priority, for example. If you preview it, you you basically have this uh, this link that you can share with anyone. It is a bit like customer portal, but not really a customer portal. People can actually submit this form and uh, they can uh, raise tickets or rather I should say not really tickets, but they can um, they can raise they can create issues. And uh, if you notice here, this is of course a very simple view. Maybe you can share this link with anyone in your team. And uh, once you submit it, you will get that particular uh, uh, issue somewhere in your Jira instance. So let us go back to the list. And I believe uh, the one that we submitted, let, let us submit one more. Let us uh, try to uh, refresh and I'll probably give this uh, form, not form, but this issue a valid or a, a decent name, not really X, Y, Z. So submitted from the form. Okay, let us uh, fill this and uh, let us see how it looks like and submit so if you go back and uh, oh yeah so this is great so it's it's a bit like you in jira service management you don't need to refresh this page or any new item will appear so this is interesting i, I like it i like the idea so this is great i think uh, this is what i wanted to show you is uh, basically i wanted to say that uh, the thing that i missed in my previous video, which actually is not really my fault because I believe this Jira work management thing is, is something that was announced, uh, I guess, a few days back during the Atlassian Summit or Atlassian Team 21, whatever it is called nowadays. So uh, if you look at the main page here, you can know about, you can learn about list. It is not complicated. It, you, I mean, if you spend time on the, G, on the Jira project, if you if you create a new project and if you start playing with it, you can actually get familiar, familiar with these new features uh, within a few minutes. So nothing too complicated. I think uh, it is just a change in the name with some new features. So you can you can read about this on the page itself. Like uh, there are different templates, templates I guess, or basically what Atlassian is saying or or suggesting is that if you are if you are maybe in marketing or legal or, or human resource or basically any non-technical team. I mean, it could be a technical team, but uh, if you are uh, from these type of teams, then I think uh, Jira work management is uh, suitable for you so that you can plan your work and and uh, solve your problems using Atlassian tools like Jira work management. So that is all I wanted to talk about and cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.